for studying trims a little bit further, um, looking at um, these, the bevels that are in um, in this example trim sheet, for example, um, reading up on the ultimate trim method and putting in all these normal bevels and also reading some polycount forums seems there's quite the debate over whether or not to even use um, to even use the bevels in the normal in the in the trim sheet using the normal map or to just use you know weighted normals and I I don't think now you might you might still need some uh, some trim normals here and there like these edge normals but for the most case I think it's fine to just use weighted normals instead rather than rather than doing this method now I guess it gets a little tricky when you are taking multiple pieces so all these are separate but this has to be all one um, all one mesh first so that's where it gets a little complicated I guess so for example so I have these pieces then and let's go back. Well, that's fun. Now, if I have this piece, um, and I take these and I just scale them down a bit so I don't have any of that normal information. Now, to get this, uh, like, say I was building a huge environment with all this stuff, and let's just loose parts and um, go back over here and set origin to geometry. Now if I rotate this and let's just say we're building all these huge environments with all these different pieces pillars and whatever else, taking another one um, So something like this. Now, to get these weighted normals on, I'd have to join everything together and put a bevel on this. Which kind of breaks the modularity. So I guess that's where that's where it comes in with something like this, where you are building modular modularly, um, in like a game engine or something. You don't have to worry about all these the the weighted normals. You don't have to join anything. This has to be all joined, um, you know, and that's fine. If you're building big assets, then maybe you want these. Uh, these beveled edges but if I'm building like a specific asset that's going to be placed a lot then I could build it up with trims without the bevel then join it all together and look at my uh, so let's flip this now I do that and that and I guess right here as well then I'd have to join everything this way so I remove you know I'm merging the merging any vertices and then 
we go ahead and oops, stick this uh, these on and we do uh, angle so in this case this is the better method it's just cleaner and you don't have to worry about it so much like it's a rounder edge and this is a lot harder to get round though at a distance these look the same this is slightly softer but they look about the same anyway I don't know just some observations I guess that I wanted to document and talk about yeah Okay then, anyway. Yeah. Just experimental stuff, I guess.